Hey there, PH and Leo here, and today we're talking about how to implement a sliding window log rate limiting using Java and Redis. This method is a precise way to control how often clients can make requests, and it's different from the simpler fixed window counter, which breaks time into rigid chunks and resets limits abruptly. Instead, the sliding window log uses a rolling time window, making it more dynamic and accurate. So let's break it down together. The sliding window log is a more precise rate limiting algorithm compared to the fixed window counter. Instead of dividing time into rigid intervals, it uses a rolling window to track requests dynamically, ensuring smoother enforcement without abrupt resets. Imagine this as a speed limit that adjusts in real time. If too many requests are made within the last second or minute, it slows you down immediately. No waiting for the next interval to kick in. You want to understand it better? Let's break it down into four simple steps. First, define a time window. Choose a rolling window like one second, one minute, or an hour. This window slides forward with time. Then, track requests. Log every request with an exact timestamp as it comes in. This allows you to know precisely when each request happened. Third, continue with removing expired entries. So clean up the log by removing requests that fall outside the current window. This keeps your data accurate and up to date. And finally, check the limit. Count how many requests are still within the window, and if the count exceeds your limit, block new requests. Otherwise, let them through. The sliding window log brings more precision to rate limiting, making it perfect for dynamic and high traffic APIs. However, if you're still unsure if this is the right rate limiting for your use case, check the Essential Guide video where we compare all of the rate limiter algorithms to help you choose which one is the best for you. The link is in the description of this video. Amazing, let's put our hands in the fire now. Let's start implementing the sliding window log rate limiter with Jetis, a Java library for Redis. We use it to interact with our Redis database and manage the rolling time window dynamically. First, we create a new sliding window log rate limiter class, and it will have three fields. A Jetis instance to connect with Redis, the window size, which defines the rolling time window, and the limit, the maximum number of requests allowed within that window. Next, we add a constructor to initialize these fields. Easy, right? Now let's dive into the isAllowed function where the magic really happens. We start by creating a unique key for the client like rate underscore limit column user one, two, three. This key will be used to track their requests. The client ID can be anything unique, such as a user ID or IP address. Then we use Redis hlan command to count how many requests are currently in the rolling time window. If the key doesn't exist, Redis simply returns zero. If the current count is below the limit, the request is allowed. Otherwise, it's denied. Simple as that. If the request is allowed, we add a new request to the log. Here, we leverage Redis transactions. This has two benefits. The first one is that all commands will be executed in a single transaction, while the second is that all commands will be sent to Redis at once. This means that we're improving the performance by reducing the number of network trips. Then we use the hset command to log the request. The field in the hash is a WID to avoid duplicates if more than one request arrives at the same millisecond. And the value is left empty since you only care about the timestamp. All right, if you're already familiar with the sliding window log algorithm, you might remember that it used to be implemented using a sorted set. However, with a new version of Redis, Redis 8, a new command has been added that allows this algorithm to be implemented in an easier and more efficient way. This is the H expire command that ensures that each field in the hash expires after a specific time window ends. It means that we can set an expiration for each field in the hash. In our case, this keeps the log clean by automatically removing all the requests. So make sure you're running the newest version of Redis, Redis 8, for getting the maximum benefit of the sliding window log algorithm. Of course, you can just write code and hope it works. We need tests. For testing our rate limiter, we use test containers to spin up a new Redis for every test class, JUnit 5, which is our loved testing framework, and a search aid that makes assertions easy to read and write. The first step is to create a task class named Sliding Window Log Rate Limiter Test. Inside, we define three main components. The Redis Test Container, used for launching a Redis in a Docker container for isolated testing. The Jetis Instance, used for connecting to the Redis container for sending commands. And the Rate Limiter, the Sliding Window Log Rate Limiter Instance we'll be testing. Before running any tests, we need to connect to Redis and ensure the database is clean. To do this, we define a method that runs before each test using JUnits before each annotation. In this method, we establish a connection to the Redis container using Jetis, send a flush shell command to clear the database and ensure each test starts fresh. After the test, we also want to free up resources by closing the Redis connection and stopping the container. 
For this, we define a method with JUnits after each annotation, where we simply tell Jetis to close the connection. And we use the JUnits before all and after all annotations to start and stop our container. Now that we are set up, we are ready to implement our first test. Our first test ensures that requests within the limit are allowed. We configure the RAID limiter with a limit of 5 requests and a 10 second rolling window. Then we call the isAllowed method five times, expecting each call to return true. This confirms that the RAID limiter correctly tracks and allows requests under the limit. Let's run it. Success. Next, we want to verify that requests exceeding the limit are denied. We configure the RAID limiter with a limit of five requests in a 60 second rolling window. Calling the isAllowed method five times should return true, as they're all within the limit as we already know. However, the sixth call should return false, confirming that the limiter correctly blocks requests beyond the allowed limit. Let's run it. All good. Now we test if the limiter allows requests again after the rolling window expires. We configure the rate limiter with a limit of five requests and a one second rolling window. The first five requests should pass while the sixth is denied. After waiting for the window to expire, though, the next request should be allowed again, confirming the rolling window's reset behavior. Let's run it. Success again. Of course, there are plenty of other tasks we could run. For example, testing with multiple clients to ensure each client has its own rolling window, or verifying gradual allowance where requests are allowed as all their entries expire. But if you're curious about these scenarios, you should check out the GitHub repository linked in the description of this video. And that's it, a fully functional sliding window log rate limiter complete with setup and tests. Now it's your turn. Try it out and see how it works for your projects. You got questions or ideas, drop them in the comments. And as always, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.